Black Crow by Brent Cobb is going to be played in standard tuning and then is based around a riff in a G minor. The first chord is, uh, is where this riff falls in. It's going to be a bar chord, which is never fun, but what uh, you've got to do is with your first finger, you've got to bar the third fret of the guitar. Then ring finger needs to be on the five string five fret. And then your pinky finger has to begin on the one string six fret. You're going to pinch with your thumb on the sixth string and your second finger on the one string. And that's your first set of notes. And then you kind of let up with your left hand to mute the uh, mute the strings from ring, ringing out. And then whenever you press back down, you need to left, lift up your pinky finger off of the first string sixth fret so that you get... And I'm doing just a pinch, pinch with my thumb and uh, kind of first and second fingers on strings one or strings one and two really. And then after that, you will strike with your first and second fingers strings three and two, still in this bar shape. So like strings one and two are barred on the third fret. After you strike that with your first and second fingers, you will hammer on with your pinky finger to the two string sixth fret. And then you'll come back to your thumb on the sixth string You'll hit that, and then immediately after that, pinch um, your first finger and second finger on strings three and two, and pull off with your pinky finger to expose the two string three fret where your bar is, so that you get very, very slowly the whole thing, or this first part is coming together like... To a C major bar chord. For that, you're going to basically slide into it. So you want to start the, the uh, kind of power chord bar chord on the two fret and slide it up to the three fret. But what you're doing here is first finger barring the two fret, ring finger barring the four string, three string, and two string on the four fret. So like a B, but then you quickly pull that up like the B is not shining through. It's getting to the C. It's just happening through a quick slide. So now your first finger is barring the third fret of strings six and five. Your ring finger is barring the fifth fret of strings three, uh, four, three, and two. And then you're going to hit with your thumb the five string and then pinch with your first and second finger strings three and two and then hammer on with your pinky finger to the two string six fret and then it repeats and you can hear a little bit of rhythm that I'm doing like there like pinch up pinch hit slap pinch 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 slap pinch and then pinch hammer on uh, and 
that's the intro. When we get to the verse, the verse is just going to be a G minor bar chord. So first finger barring the three, uh, the three fret of all strings, and then ring finger on the five string, uh, ring finger on the five string five fret, pinky finger on the four string five fret. And to get a little bit of rhythm here, I'm going like down, 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 thumb, thumb on the sixth string, and then I'm just striking down across that G minor chord with the back of my fingernails. And then I'm going like up, down, up with my fingers. And then pop the strings again, just kind of lightly. And in that, what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm really just press down and let up, press down, let up, press down, let up. You can hear that pulse there, I think. Chunk, 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 chunk. And then so after that for like just one bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it then pulls up into that C chord, which is the same C chord as before, then goes back to the G minor, to the C chord. And you may want to pull back into that pinky position on the two string six fret. Just repeats that back and forth um, and then it eventually goes G minor to the C chord to the to an F chord to an A sharp chord and then back into the riff. Uh, that wasn't clean but anyway whenever you go to the F chord it's going to be first finger on the sixth string one fret ring finger on the five string three fret pinky finger on the four string three fret second finger on the two string, uh, second finger on the three string two fret. And I really just play string six through three there, but it may be a full blown F major bar chord there. So the G chord to the C chord to the F major and then to an A sharp major, which is playing again just another bar chord. You need to bar your first finger across the first fret and then ring finger needs to be barring the third fret of strings four, three, and two. So F, A sharp, and then back into the riff. Uh, then it's got another verse of the G minor to the C to the G minor to the C. Um, and then the same thing, like come down to the G minor to the C and then F to the A sharp to the riff. The second time, or really the first time through this second riff, after the G chord, it jumps down to an F, like a chunk chunk on the F chord, and then a C major chord, um, just a standard C major. Ring finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string, so F, F, C, and now we're getting into the chorus, which will be G minor to the F major to the C major to the G minor to the G minor to the F chunk chunk C again back to the G minor repeat G minor to the F to the C to the G minor to the G minor I made that major G minor G minor F major to the C uh, bar chord and then it's going to walk down again G minor to the F major to the C major and then kind of pop on an up note right there on that A sharp so slap mute and then the A sharp chord that's first finger on or first finger barring the first fret ring finger barring the third fret of strings four three and two C to A sharp and then back into the riff So again, that last time through the chorus, it's G minor to F major to C major to G minor to F to C to F, uh, I'm sorry, F, uh, G minor to F major to C major to A sharp, and then back into the riff. So you get the feel of that, um, and those are 
it, I think it just kind of vamps on that and then goes into another course. So those are the chords and the movements that you need to know for Black Crow by Brent Cobb. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.